Welcome to the introduction video for the Just Amazing dies. This is a two-piece die set. The sentiments read, Just for you and you are amazing. Each one comes with a shadow layer that you can die cut out and add a backer to your sentiments. And these both fit perfectly on the front of an A2 size card. Here are a couple examples that I die cut out using Peacock cardstock on top of Aqua Sky cardstock. This first one is using just the letters and this bottom one is using the shadow layer and the outline portion. You can see by just die cutting out one sentiment, you're gonna be able to use that multiple times. Here's an example of the die, You Are Amazing. And how I did this was I ink blended a panel of cardstock in a rainbow of colors and then die cut out the You Are Amazing. On the left, I am using just the letters and then I added that to the white shadow layer and the one on the right is where I used the outline and added that to a shadow layer as well. Here's a look at what that outline of the letters would look like out of gold foil cardstock. I would suggest if you like to fill in your letters to save your negative pieces so you can add those back in for a complete look. Now here's a card example that I had done where I have an ink blended background and I heat embossed the blended petals image on the background with gold embossing powder and I'm just using the die cut letters out of that You Are Amazing die. Welcome to the introduction to the double stripe card front die. This die is perfect for adding subtle stitching to your backgrounds. This is a two-in-one die, meaning that you can create portrait or landscape style cards in one die. Simply choose your orientation and run through your die cut machine. Here's a look at what they look like on white cardstock that is cut to four and a quarter by five and a half. To use this die, take your cardstock of any color of your choice, cut to four and a quarter by five and a half, and we're gonna line this up over the die, making sure that the edges are flush. Once that is flush, we can hold that down with a low tack tape so it doesn't shift and then run it through our die cut machine. Then carefully peel away the post-it tape to reveal this beautifully stitched panel. To use the other orientation, pick a cardstock color of your choice. In this particular case, I am using Aqua Sky cardstock cut to four and a quarter by five and a half. Once again, lining that up flush with the edge of the die, holding it down with a low tack tape and running that through my die cutting machine. You can see how versatile this die is to add that subtle stitching to your backgrounds. Also, you're getting two for one by simply turning your cardstock to get a new orientation. I have a couple card examples I wanna share with you where I'm using the double stripe card front die for subtle texture in the background. Both of these panels were using white cardstock and the double stripe card front die. The card on the left, features the blended petals stamp set that I die cut out and added my image over the top of the background. And the card on the right features the triple step high stamp set. Hi everyone and welcome to the blended petals stamp die and stencil introduction video. This is a four by six stamp set with these beautiful sentiments and large floral image. The coordinating dies include a die for the word just because that fits perfectly around the sentiment. We also have a large die to cut out the flowers and the leaves. And then we also have a banner die that fits around the smaller sentiments that are included on the set and we'll go through in just a moment. I went ahead and stamped out all the sentiments and the image on colored cardstock so it's easier for you to read. The beautiful floral image takes up a card front nicely to be the center of the show. And the sentiments include lovely couple, hello, you're one of my favorites, you're wonderful, celebrate, and just because. This image with its large open petals makes it great to use for your favorite coloring medium. In addition to this stamp set is a three piece layering stencil, which makes it easy for you to quickly add color to your image. There's also a negative piece that you can place over your stamped image to mask it off and add color to your background. Here's a quick card panel I put together where I stamped the image, masked off the flowers, and did a blended background. And here is one where I masked off the image after stamping it and just added a light glow behind the flowers to really pull your attention in. I'll be recreating this card for you in just a moment. This is a card I completed using all three layers of the stencil and adding that large just because to the front popped up with foam squares to give it dimension and added to a background using the double stripe card front die. 
For this card example, and to show you how the stencils work, I stamped out the image onto Concord and Ninth white cardstock using a black ink. Then using my magnetic make art station, I'm placing that negative piece over my flowers, holding that negative piece down with the magnets, and then I'm going to lightly ink blend on some buttercup ink with a blending brush. I picked up the ink with the blending brush, dabbed off a little bit on a paper towel, and then I'm starting on the stencil and lightly blending my way out towards the edge of the cardstock. Then I can pick up my magnets and remove the mask, and now I have this beautiful glow in the background. Now I'm going to work on adding some color to my floral image by bringing in the first layer of the stencil, which is the most open area of the flower. I'm going to hold that stencil down with my magnets. Once again, taking a blending brush and picking up some ballet slipper ink, and then just really light handed going over this base area. I'm going for a very soft look, so I'm not adding color to the entire area. I'm mainly leaving the edges of the petal white. To add color to your leaves, you are going to need to pick up your stencil and shift it down so that the open area of the leaves of the stencil match up with your stamped image. Then I'm taking a mini blending brush and I am adding sprout ink over that area. Once again, just lightly adding color. And to add color to the bottom leaves, once again, I'm going to pick up my stencil, align the open areas of those leaves with the stamped image, and add that light color again. So that was our first layer of our stencil. Now we can bring in the second layer, which is going to color in some of the petals of the flower and add details to the leaves. Once again, I lined up the stencil portion of my flower with my stamped image, lightly ink blending on that ballet slippers ink, just going a little bit heavier handed. Then pick that up, shift that over to align the leaves in the top right portion of my image. I'm going to blend on the sprout ink again, once again going a little bit heavier handed than last time. Shift my stencil to align that bottom corner and repeat those steps for blending. Now we have the third and final layer of the stencil, so I lined up those petals once again, going a little bit heavier handed with the ballet slippers. And this stencil piece also have where you can add the centers of your flower, which I am just using buttercup ink. Here's a look at that completed panel, which makes a perfect one layer card front by just simply stamping a sentiment. Welcome to the Popsicle Party Stencils Introduction. This is a four piece stencil set Three of the stencils are creating the popsicles where it's really fun to mix and match and layer up your colors. The fourth layer of the stencil is adding your popsicle sticks. Here is an example of using the layer of the stencil that has the most open area of your popsicles. For my popsicles, I used honeysuckle, aqua sky, and sprout ink. Bringing in the layer of the stencil that adds the popsicle sticks, I did that with wheat ink. Now here's an example of where I added some detail to my popsicle. So I started with the most open area, then I could bring in one of the detail stencils. And this is really fun because you can add different stripes to your popsicles or do an ombre effect. Now the two stencils that have the details to them, adding the stripes to your pop popsicles, work really well together in that instead of layering color on top of one another, we are actually being able to create multiple colors in one popsicle. So you can see how just layering these two on top of each other is going to give you a great assortment and a really fun summer vibe. Now these stencils also work really well together with the Sweet Summer stamp set. Some of the sentiments in this stamp set are, you're one of the coolest people I know. Life would be impopsicle without you. Here's a card example I did where I have a rainbow assortment of popsicles on my background and then I added a sentiment from the Blended Petals stamp set. This is the newest addition to the Turnabout family, and it's called Triangle Confetti Turnabout Stamp and a Coordinating Die Set. This creates a fun and festive design that is great for celebrating any occasion. Included in the stamp set is the guide that will help you line up your Turnabout stamp set in your stamping tool, so you want to make sure to keep this with your stamp set. The back of your packaging shows you the turnabout stepped out. So we have turns one, two, three, and four, and what it looks like layered up together. Here's one fun background that I created where I had stamped out using buttercup, sprout, aqua sky, and honeysuckle ink. The small sentiments included on the stamp set is hip hip, amazing, happy day, congrats, and you did it. 
there is a die to cut out this fun confetti that I die cut from some gold glitter cardstock and it's great for adding to your design. We also have these three yays. The die cut word hooray, which is perfect for sizing inside of this circle or in one line across the card. We have these triangle pieces that I'm going to show you a fun trick to in just a moment. And then this small rectangle die that fits all of the sentiments. So here is a neat little trick. These triangles that you die cut out line up with the triangles on the turnabout. So you can add maybe some gold mirror cardstock or the gold glitter cardstock and just add these around your card for a fun design. So here is a card that I put together using the turnabout and then also the smaller sentiments on the stamp set and coordinating die. I'm going to show you quickly how the turnabout goes together using these same colors. I have my turnabout already loaded in my Misty stamping tool and I'm bringing out my stamping jig so that I can place my cardstock in between those guides. My cardstock is measuring four and a quarter by five and a half and I'm just holding it down with a removable adhesive on the back. Now notice on your stamping jig we have numbers in the corners and I am starting with this in the one in that top right corner. Then I'm stamping my first turn in ballet slippers ink. I'm going to take my stamping jig and notice we have that one in that top right corner. We are going to turn this and our two is going to be in the top right corner. So now I can clean my stamp and I'm going to stamp this second turn in sprout ink. After I have this turn stamped down, I'm going to clean my stamp set once again and then that stamping jig I'm going to turn again so that we have a number three in the top right corner. Because I had used the alignment guide that is included in the stamp set, everything is lining up perfectly. I'm stamping my third turn in aqua sky ink. Once again, taking my stamping jig and just turning that so I have the number four in the top right corner. And my fourth turn is stamped in midnight ink. And that's going to complete our entire panel. So here's a look at that completed panel. And these are the same colors that I used in my completed card. I die cut out that circle from one of the colors that I used in the background. In this case, it's the ballet slippers. The Sweet Summer Stamp, Die, and Stencil Bundle includes this sentiment stamp set filled with sentiments like, you're one of the coolest people I know, life would be impopsicle without you, hope your day is chill, so sweet, chill, and coolest. We also have a coordinating die to die cut out our popsicle, hearts, and popsicle stick. Now along with our stamp and die, we also have a coordinating stencil to create these cool treats. Here we have the two stencils. One is starting with creating your popsicle and it has all kinds of elements that you can add to your popsicle, including some fruit. There are some hearts that you can add to the inside. We have our popsicle stick down at the bottom. And then there's also some elements on the stamp set where you can add some detail to your fruit. You could also use the coordinating sentiment set to add a sentiment to the inside of your popsicle. Also with our coordinating die, there is a set of hearts and those actually you can die cut out of regular cardstock or you can ombre ink blend some hearts from the stencil and those will line up and die cut out the hearts. This heart die also lines up with the heart on the stencil. And then we have our popsicle stick that you can die cut out and attach to the popsicle along with the die for the popsicle itself. Here's a look at some pieces that I ink blended in rainbow colors and use the coordinating die to die cut them out. So you can see that this popsicle is great to use the stencil on its own with the coordinating die or with the coordinating stamp set. Here's a look at a card that I created using sprout and honeysuckle ink doing some ink blending on the popsicle and adding those stencil pieces to the inside of it and then using the sweet summer stamp set to add a sentiment down in the bottom. This is a great set to get you cooled off for the summer. This is the triple step high stamp and dies. This has three large floral stamps that layer together to create a friendly high and pairs perfectly with the additional stamped sentiments. Those sentiments include thinking of you, hey there, best wishes, miss you so, sending love, just dropping by to say, and then the large word hi, and lovely friend. 
Now here's a look at that large high that is stamped out, that is in the bottom, and also die cut out, that piece is at the top. You can see that this coordinating die creates its own version of the floral high, but also cuts around the stamped image. So the large high at the top, I die cut out of colored cardstock and did some die cut inlay to add those different colors of flowers and leaves. The one on the bottom was stamped in multiple colors and then using the coordinating die to die cut it out. There are also some smaller floral images and stems on the stamp set that have a coordinating die to them and there's also in the coordinating die the word there that you can die cut out. I'm just showing you here how that stamped image on the bottom lines up perfectly with the coordinating die and then on the top piece it has this beautiful stitching that goes around the letters. There is also two rectangles down on the bottom there that fit the different sizes of sentiments included in the stamp set. I'm going to stamp this high out for you so you can see how easy it is to line up this image. I'm starting with the first layer and that is the word high and I'm going to ink this up in peacock ink. I am using a brand new stamp set so I am going to stamp this twice to make sure I get a really solid impression. Now on these next two pieces that are going to layer in those open areas, there is an arrow that is actually on the stamp set. It's right in between the H and the I and that is going to indicate to you which way is up. So I'm lining up this image with the open areas of the flowers and I'm going to stamp this layer in ballet slippers ink. Now I'm going to bring in the next layer which is the leaves and there I'm pointing out that arrow that's right in between the H and the I that is right in the stamp itself. So I lined up the leaves and I stamped this one in sprout and this is a beautiful and striking color combination. This would make a great one layer card or you can use the coordinating die to die cut it out and add dimension behind it. Here's a look at another card front that I designed. This time I had done Oceanside, Honeysuckle, and Sprout ink, and I also added the die cut word there from Black Cardstock, and this is added to a background I created with the double stripe card front die. 